Hello, fellow pipe smokers. How are you today? Today I'm smoking Paladin Wild Cherry Tobacco, gifted to me some months back, it's still fresh, by Wallace of Tree Stump fame. And here is the package. wild cherry and I'm smoking it in my 2003 Savinelli Christmas pipe number 8 of 28 made I've shown it several times on YouTube since I uh, uh, joined the YouTube pipe smoking and collecting community and uh, it served me very well. I have on it right now one of three total stems and this is a uh, I guess you would call it the Cumberland color. Here's the pipe. Close up. Has a tiny little bit of char in the front that's going to be. Uh, I'm going to send this one just to clean it up. Uh, buff some stuff out just that one little mark and uh, sand the top a little bit and ream it out to Boswell's when I send my Dunhill but the pipe has served me well like I said it's uh, it's gorgeous has a nine carat uh, gold band It's a nicely balanced piece, and uh, there we go. One little mark on the gold. It's like a, I don't know what you call on the bottom. It's like a, uh, almost like a hallmark. My quote of the day is from R.C. Sharif, who said, In retirement, they usually give a man a watch when he doesn't need to worry about the time anymore. How ironic. Close quote. So the weekend is approaching. There's a whole bunch of quotes on retirement. I looked it up. Um, and I believe the site is called Quote Garden. And uh, they have a lot of funny quotes about retirement like uh, uh, the person's, uh, the man, uh, so if it's a man, when he retires, it's, uh, half again, you know, half as much work as when he went to work as far as, yeah, I like working around it, but twice the work for the wife, <laughs> that's, that's a funny one, and the man is, uh, home all the time.
This wild cherry tobacco is very good. I smoked it on YouTube a couple times uh, a while back. Quite a while back, as a matter of fact. Uh, but uh, if you sip it and you don't puff too aggressively, it doesn't give you the normal tongue bite that a lot of cherries give, give you. And uh, I repeated this story a couple times, but for the <clears throat> for the new folks that have signed on to watch me, uh, my uh, mother-in-law who passed away oh about two years ago now uh, always loved the smell of the cherry tobacco and uh, <clears throat> that was one of the first tobaccos that I've ever I ever smoked not the particular brand but just cherry tobacco in general and it always had a pleasant memory for her she used to tell me and uh, so uh, I like to tell that story. Uh, you know, some aromas stick with you. And, oh, I love that tobacco. And uh, so I miss her sorely. She was uh, a very nice person. And good mother to my wife course when she was growing up and her sister and uh, so I'm not gonna talk about uh, uh, unpleasantries today and so much happening in the world right now it's just enjoy a nice smoke with me and uh, put our cares away for a while and uh, I enjoyed hearing about your uh, your pipes and tobacco the last couple days. Uh, I asked what tobacco and pipes you're smoking, and you uh, uh, furnished me with uh, uh, what you were doing at the time. And some good blends out there. I heard a little bit about this so-called meat pie. I looked it up and it uh, looks like a good blend. I might have my local brick and mortar order me that plus a couple others I've learned uh, that are out there that seem good. Uh, I make a point of patronizing my local uh, tobacco shop as well as buy an occasional pipe and uh, if anybody's in the area gets down close to the Philadelphia area the Philly suburbs places called uh, J and M uh, cigar and they're located in a town called Exton P A E X T O N and uh, I'm not a uh, hundred percent certain but I believe they might ship you know like five minutes away so I've never had had to uh, have anything shipped to me of course I just go up to the store but they will order tobacco in they have their own blends and they have a uh, they have a modest collection of pipes and the uh, uh, the fellows that run the place, they have, uh, they do smoke pipes themselves, so they have a rack behind the counter. And, uh, you see them smoking a, a pipe once in a while or a cigar. And uh, can't sell alcohol, but they do have a small collection of uh, uh, booze that they'll, uh, you can have like a, a shot or something. And of course, if you buy a, if you buy a pipe, uh, they'll uh, offer it freely. Oh yeah, I have a. Of course, they have. Like I said, they can't sell alcohol or anything, but you're allowed to have a, a little bit of what they have. You know, Daniels or whatever.
Very nice to be. I, I really like this Paladin. And it stayed, my, this thing was gifted to me, I think it's like four months ago. I personally haven't uh, jarred tobaccos. Number one, my space is very limited. And uh, or I'd have all these bell jars out in the way. I mean ball jars, mason jars. But I, it's a good, it's a good practice. It really keeps them fresh. But I found with a good sealed bag, you know, with the actual zipper lining that you pull across, not the ones that you sort of pinch together after you open it. Uh, they really keep keep it suitable for me. But I do admire uh, you guys that have these great uh, uh, collection of tobaccos. Uh, really nice. But like I said, not to be redundant, but I just have this little space back here. And my my lounge chair has uh, uh, pockets on both sides uh, that are quite adequate. And I, I store my, uh, uh, you know, baggies of tobacco there that I've been gifted. I'm using my Daniel Shore custom made tamper. This is very nice. I have this little ring that sort of helps you guide that in. You know, it helps you uh, apply pressure. Very nice. This came in a really nice presentation case, uh, like a blue velvet case, and uh, <clears throat> with papers, like I like to call it, uh, and uh, you know, saying it was eight of twenty-eight. Uh, that's engraved over here, actually on the pipe itself also on the other side it has natal and then over 2003 is when it was you know produced christmas pipes as some of you might know <clears throat> a lot of major companies run uh a limited quantity, a very limited quantity usually, of several styles of their pipes. And they do it around Christmas. So they, they call them Christmas pipes. Now Dunhill has a whole uh, uh, set of them. I have one that's, uh, I believe it's a snowflake. But uh, you can look up Dunhill Christmas pipes. They come in all kinds of. Uh, I think the 12 days of Christmas or something like that each year. They, they And they're very collectible. Well, we're coming down to the end. So I'll just expedite this. Happy smoking.